Welcome to Trade Pro. In this video, I test the super trend indicator with a very simple trading strategy 100 times in a row so you can see if it's profitable or not. I've had a couple requests to do this video and I know it's super popular in the TradingView public library, so figured it would make a pretty good video. Now let's get into the strategy and talk about the super trend indicator as it's actually a very versatile and interesting uh, indicator. So first of all, I have a 200 period EMA just for the longer term trend direction as the super trend is more of a short term trend indicator. So you can only take the short signals when price is under the 200 EMA. You can only take long signals when price is above the 200 EMA. Okay. Now, the super trend indicator itself, it does a few things for us. It tells us the entry signal. So it's an entry signal indicator. It's also a stop loss indicator and a trend indicator. So it does it all, uh, very versatile. And this is how I'm gonna do the test. I'm going to be taking the signals, entering on the close of the candle and using the super trend line as the stop loss, then targeting two times the risk. All right, so that's what the setup is going to be for the test. So I'll just put, put on a few here and so you can see, and then I'll get right into the test as this strategy is so simple, I don't need to really explain much here. But as you can see on these trending conditions, it really, really performs well. The real question here is, does it keep your account alive during the choppy market ranges? You can see all of these are winners because this is a nice strong downtrend. But if you zoom out and go to a more choppy period of the market, this is where it will really tell if this indicator is any good, okay? Same thing on this uptrend here, strong uptrend. You know, you have a winner right here, get a winner right here, get a winner right here. This is a winner, that's a winner. You get a lot of money made on these strong trends, but the question is if it survives on those choppy ranges. So we're about to find out over a series of 100 trades. The time has come, it's time to get into it. The results are in after 100 trades. I changed the risk to reward to one to 1.6 instead of one to two, just because a lot of the profit targets weren't getting hit, but they would have been hit with a lower RR. So that's the change. I don't know why I did 1.6 instead of 1.5 or 1.7, but it is what it is. The time for 100 signals was three months and 13 days on the 15 minute time frame for pound dollar. There were 48 winners, 52 losses, and the most won in a row was seven, most lost in a row was eight. Gain on the account, 24.8%, assuming no fees or spreads. So it's profitable, but you know it's it gets eaten up in the ranges like most um, trend following trading systems, as you know it's it's expected. But it did better than I thought it would actually. Um, being such a simple strategy and also the stops were so far away on a lot of the entries you know it's like five times ATR for this stop which is just much farther than I would place a stop loss typically I'm looking more like anywhere from 1.5 to three times ATR for a stop loss so this doesn't give the best entry signals um, or stop loss placements uh, but if you could use this with another um, indicator that gives better signals, maybe it could work better. I'm just kind of brainstorming here. But, you know, it's profitable with fees and spreads. You're probably looking under 20% depending on your broker. But uh, still, it's profitable. Super, super simple strategy. So if you just traded this alone and nothing else for 
on all, I mean, we don't know if it works well on other pairs. It might have been really good conditions on this one um, and just perform really well in this set of 100 trades. But, you know, theoretically, if it does perform this well on all pairs um, and all sets of price data, then you could theoretically just trade it just this super simple strategy alone and you would still make money uh, with consistency. And that uh, says a lot, actually, um, because most people can't do that. So, you know, not a horrible indicator, not a good indicator, but at default settings, that is, I haven't tried adjusting anything, maybe tightening up the stop a little bit or maybe get, making it, hmm, yeah, it's, it's uh, interesting. I, I think playing with the settings might help out, but. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling. Um, there's the results, everyone. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.